Now, 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 we venture to the far, far, far left edge of the political spectrum. Out where the buses don't run. We must be in heaven, man! Scoping out brave new worlds of internet liberalism. Join us, won't you, for another eye-popping, jaw-dropping episode of... Children, what's that sound? Blue Blog Appalooza. Our Blue Blog Appalooza is a public service to keep you informed on what the far left is saying, where they say it, which is on the... Uh, liberal left-wing blogs on the liberal left-wing websites. This all came from last r- night, right after the interview with Cheney on CNN. Crooks and liars. Cheney like has a ready excuse for the economic debacle. <laughs> when he strays too far from his casket and the rising sun hits him, and then he dissolves into like a pile of ashes. Uh, they love those uh, vampire metaphors. Crooks and liars. Of all the rancid f- and Bush's disastrous ensemble. This guy has to be the nastiest, meanest, most putrid all of them all. There's just nothing likable about this man. Nothing! He's just a fat, vile sack of shit. Sorry, I forgot sneering. He's a fat, vile, sneering sack of shit. <clears throat> Actually, like I him. thought uh, President Shane had lost some weight. I think he looked uh, a lot better. Crooks and liars. We never had to be in a wartime mode. And this evil bastard knows that. And how f***ing dare he bring up Katrina? And how f***ing dare he blame Dems for holding up oversight bills? And how dare CNN for allowing him to blather on with that one challenge? Eight f***ing years, you ass! Eight f***ing years and you kill this country! Go back into your hole, you blood-sucking son of a bitch! Uh, Christine, you're going to have to wash your mouth out with soap. Crooks and liars. The chimp can't walk and chew gum at the same time, and he has been taking orders from somebody a whole lot smarter than him for his entire political career and for his whole life, for that matter. Cheney was a real president for the past eight years, and for those who don't believe that, I have a bread for salad, Brooklyn. Cheney and his hand puppet George the f***ing chimp budge. May they both run to hell. Think progress. CNN's doing us no favors by hosting suspected criminals to second-guess the president's policies. There was no useful information exchanged, and it keeps the defunct Republican Party sputtering longer this way. For shame, CNN's John Cain and his producers. For shame. Wow. Really hysterical. Think progress. The criminal Cheney has opened the door for the Obama administration to start calling him and his puppet GW out by name for not only their incompetence, but to encourage Leahy to proceed quickly with setting up the Truth Commission and specifying the prosecutions will occur if warranted. These f***ing scumbags did their worst to destroy this country as we know it. Time to make it clear to all just what these traitors did for the past eight years. Now remember, that this is right after Cheney was interviewed on CNN last night. Right after. Crooks and liars. War. 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 War, 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 war! <laughs> That's going to be our most popular ringtone, I predict. Think progress. <laughs> Repugs are U.S. haters, big time. They encourage and participate in the U.S. failure. They hope for another disaster to happen to us. Please put these fascists in jail. How can they go around hoping for the U.S. to stuck... How can they go around <laughs> hoping for the U.S. destruction? Repugs want to finish the destruction. They started on September 11th. Oh, you know, it's just, sometimes they get excited and yet they have to start over. Think progress. The Swinish vampire cannibal Cheney, up to his old tactics, trying to frighten the good little credulous parishioners out there in cornpone land. <laughs> Meanwhile... What about his war profiteering and leaving the USA vulnerable to attack on him before 9-11? That perfidious enemy of the people must be hauled before the bar of justice and made to pay for his insidious war crimes. Crimes against humanity and crimes against peace and trashing the Constitution. You out there in cornpone land wasn't Cheney right. Think progress. Every time I see Cheney's pale, old, nasty, sneering face on the tube, I want to throw up. Why is that? Same goes for that fat f- Bill Bennett. I mean, what the hell is that bloated creature doing on TV? Haven't we seen such slithering slime bags enough for one lifetime? Why does corporate media insist on rehabilitating those vicious insects? Do you think there weren't another 300 million people in this country with opinions just as valid as those rotten-hearted, disgraced, right-wing, reactionary, know-nothing assholes? These are people who have the thesaurus of insults. They, they, sure do, they, they, they really know how to roll out some really vile talk. Raw story. So don't blame them for the tax cuts for the rich during the time of war, then. Who did it? You did. 
Who passed more deregulation than anyone could have believed? You did. Who ignored the rule of law like it was going out of style? You did. What? More tax cuts for the rich. Each the people who created jobs, then it most definitely won't be for the rich. They haven't created a single job in the last decade. Small business is responsible for 95% of the jobs in this country. You rich motherfuckers have done nothing but run us out of business and then run the jobs off to China and India. Stupid ass. You have been proven to have disaster effects on this country. Now just go the fuck away and wait for the indictments. Rotten hell, you fucking traitor. <laughs> Anger, weeping. Raw story. Why doesn't this colossal head just get lost? I don't know. He has cr- zero credibility unless mental acuity. Murderer, liar, perjurer, warmonger, yes. repuke, yes. disgrace. Yes. Whole chain gang he needs to be uh, pulling prison uh, time for uh, life. Uh, he most certainly along the shrub of light has no further valid voice in the U.S. political life. The stuff that happened on his watch destroyed the world's assets, screwed vast areas of the world, ruined U.S. foreign relations, and leaves our beloved country in a continuing state of devastation. I think these criminal idiot bastards should shut the f*** up forever. Round of applause, please, for the John Gibson noontime players. That was a couple. I can see. Oh, boy. They've been locked up in that trailer a long time. Or that uh, wooded grotto in the fog zone in the moss. Always taking the high road. Bonk, 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 bonk. Chicken! No double entendres. It's hard. It's huge. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting excited. And treating you with the utmost respect. Not everyone is molested by the host here. That's John Gibson.